Today is um, Saturday, May 22nd. This is the video for Friday, May the 21st. Let's just look at the technicals, but first let's look at um, the McClellan oscillator, which got itself back up to the neutral line. So the bulls um, have taken charge since back here, we went into oversold, the bulls pushed up, lost a bit of ground, but then they pushed up again. They didn't let it go back into the oversold again. So that's a good sign. Let's see if the technicals are still um, staying where they should be. One thing we noticed about Friday is that everything finished the day down. So the Dow finished um, lower than its high of the day. And where did we have its high? Right up here. Where did we have its low? Right down there, which would have been the Chiku span above the candle. But now you can see that the Chiku span on Monday should be going above this candle and then can be pretty flat for a while, really not going anywhere if it's going to get support from these candles. Remember how the 50 um, was really great support back here on Wednesday? Doesn't mean it can't happen again because we also have the 50 coinciding with the uh, cloud and we know that coincidences need to be watched very carefully. So we're going to watch those things there. Um, the NASDAQ finished also, um, opened at its highest and then closed near its lowest back in the cloud and now below the 50. Where was the Chiku span all day long? Well, it came right, didn't come down to the 50. The S&P, we've been watching the Chiku span there because it's been important. And you can see if we zoom in here, that the Chiku span finished today right where? Um, looks like it opened at the top of this candle, but it finished uh, somewhere in the body of this candle. So it's possible that it comes out tomorrow on Monday uh, below these um, candles. Now that's the opposite of the Dow Jones. So we'll have to keep a look on look at that. We also had this gap closed twice don't know if there's any significance to that, but we had the gap as, um, as resistance here and then certainly as resistance on Friday. The 50 also has been important and look at the 50. Let's move this over here and let's say that this is going to be, come on, not going to move. So let's draw another one. Let's just say that the 50 and the cloud are going to be equally important um, on the S&P chart as well. Now the volatility index did something interesting. It dropped also, it moved very little over the day. It did move up quite high, but it finished down and it finished on the 50. So um, volatility index is certainly not showing anything uh, of concern. Apple hit the top of the cloud and the 50. These are the um, coincidences that I refer to. Whenever you see a moving average that's significant like the 50 or the 200 and the cloud, it's going to be, you know, a place where traders are going to set some stops and hope to make some short-term gains by bounces. And the gains they would have made would have been over the last two days. And then they got out at this technical indicator and it pulled back. Could very well go back to 78.6 again on Monday. IBM uh, finished low on its day, still just hanging around this D um, endpoint for uh, a Gartley. Neo, not much movement, um, not looking bad, but not looking great. Square, what a volatile stock. Um, didn't come down on the Chiku span to the 200, but did fall below the 200, but rested at the end of the day right on, pretty darn close on the 61.8 percent Fibonacci. So you could expect this to be a bit of a buying point, but more importantly, the next buying point would probably be a repeat of hitting this green line like we did twice uh, last week and the week before. AT&T is coming back. Um, it was deeply oversold, and you can see that by the short-term stochastic here. The fast-moving stochastic showed it oversold, not finished its long-term stochastic oversold dip, um, but there's a bit of a reprieve here, and it got resistance where? Right at the top of the candle and the 200 SMA. So 
technicals are in play. Technicals are really working well. I'm, I want to keep this, it's five minutes, I want to close it now. Most people don't watch these videos beyond an average of two and a half to three minutes. So they're going to 